All right, we're going to take a look at a couple of the Commander decks, maybe all five if you get lucky. I don't even know. But we're going to start with Stalwart Unity. These are the 2016 Commander decks. Stalwart Unity is the non-black one. It's the Kineos. That's what I'm going to say his name is. And Tiro of Miletus. You got a uh, four mana general, as you do with all of these. This one's a 2-8, and it's your classic group hug deck. You know, if you have a Zedru or all that kind of stuff going on, this is for you. Let's take a look at what's inside. As you can see, they're not easy to open. We got a little book in here that talks about the commander, the deck list, all that jazz. Playing the deck. Well, we'll figure that out. We have played with a couple of these so far in the store just to get a feel for this review. And, you know, because we're magic players, so we like to play. All right, more opening. Here we go.
As with a lot of group hug pillow fort type decks, your goal is to play it cool, you know? Ramp it up a little bit. We've got some of these ramp spells in the top. Make, a, make everyone a little happy, you know? Get, get them some lands, get you some lands. Then you huddle up behind some defensive cards like Propaganda, Ghostly Prison, those type of effects you see here in the middle. Maybe some Wrath effects where you wipe the board a little bit, people getting too crazy. You want to keep playing. You want to keep uh, your fort intact. So down here at the bottom we've got some of the little sillier things you can do. You let everyone draw some cards. It's about hugging everybody until they choke to death. Give them some stuff, you gain some more life and draw some more cards. Yeah, you know, you know, everyone play all these lands and then you treacherous terrain them and, and do a bunch of damage to them. You're like, show them who's boss, make sure they know you're in charge. As far as the legendaries go in this deck, it feels kind of random. I mean, the partner mechanic is obviously awesome, but the flanking guy and the two blue-red creatures, they don't really seem like they go with the main general... Join Ludovic's revolution. We've got a 5 mana 4 4 flying haste that lets you draw a card every time your opponents cast a second spell, so that keeps your fuel going, but it's some random 4 4 flyer, dude. You got a 3 mana 1 4 that lets each player draw cards if other players lose life. Yep. And you have this random flanker that uh, says that your opponent's creatures can't block, but you don't really care that much about blo you know, them blocking because you're not attacking all that often. Uh, but the main guy, Kineos, is awesome. You uh, start drawing cards and playing more lands, and you let everyone do the same, which makes them love you, and you have a 2-8, which is huge and probably never going to die. Value-wise, uh, these things cost about $34.99 in MSRP, and we get them for around, you know, less than that, about $19.20. Bucks. And this one, if you go on a TCG player and you bought the whole thing at mid price, average price, you would uh, got, get a deck that's about $105 in value. So it's good value. Uh, you, you make about $70 by buying the thing if you can get rid of all the cards, but you know that's not necessarily true. You're not going to be able to get rid of everything. All in all, these seem like a good buy, especially this one, making up $70 in value just by buying it. Sounds like a pretty sweet thing, and uh, I would go get it if I was you. You want to hug people? This is your deck. So.